hello from Texas. <laughs> I'm back in Texas. Um, probably already know that from a couple of videos that I've already posted. I picked up my mail, so this is a mail call video. I had two packages, this one and this one. So I'm going to open this one first and then we'll open this one. Um, I know what's in here. I just don't know what kind and how many. So I was contacted by a subscriber and um, she wanted to send me some knives and that's a big box for some knives. So I was expecting like little pocket knives, little bitty box. So this is a huge box of knives. So um, she also said the ones I don't like, I can pass on to someone else. And so this is gonna be fun. Just looking at them is gonna be fun. Um, and then uh, pick out my favorites and then I can get the others. So stay tuned for that. I may um, be gifting these uh, to one of y'all. So anyway, let's start off with this. This is from my friend Cheryl. Um, Pup Camper 58 is her channel name. Go over there and check out her channel. She does park hosting videos. and um, So, um, I did already open this, so I have to, <laughs> I get to the post office, I'm like, oh, I got mail, I got something. So I had to see what this was, and this is cool. So, it is a hiking stick medallion. Um, from Tim Ford's State Park in Tennessee. So, thank you, Cheryl. I love it. Um, gosh, the bugs are gonna be bothering me. The flies are pretty bad, but isn't that cool? I put these on, on my hiking stick. I'm gonna have to get a new hiking stick. I'm running out of room. But thank you so much, Cheryl. I love it. Wow. This is a massive box. So this came from a subscriber. I already said that. Her name is Felicia. And um, she wanted to send me these. And I'm just so excited. And I wanted to open them yesterday. But I had to get some things done before 5 o'clock. And um, so I wasn't able to open them. They sat on my table all night long and I didn't even open it. So <laughs> we're gonna do that right now. What am I gonna open it with? My Kershaw. So I'm always asked um, the name of this knife and I can never remember. <laughs> uh, but it's a Kershaw. It's, I love this knife. It's very um, well made, $15 for this. And I love it. And I'm always asked, what kind is it? So I kept the box. Uh, I just picked this up. This is a number seven. If you go to Walmart, you'll see their knobs are numbered. Number seven, and it's also called a filter. F-I-L-T-E-R. So, and it is made by Kershaw. So if you want one of these knives, number seven. And I'm getting a polo. Get to opening. So she did tell me that she used to own a knife store, so she had some knives left over, and I have a note. Okay, I pulled all the knives out, so um, I put them up on top of this box, and she sent me a letter. And uh, P.S. She says, really enjoy your cooking pot videos. My daughter, she, her daughter wants me to grill shrimp. And which is so funny is I was at Walmart yesterday and I was looking at frozen shrimp, raw frozen shrimp, because I want to, to make some new dishes with shrimp. And also scallops. Um, they actually had a bag of scallops. I want to... Um, grills well saute grills some scallops but that bag was $15 so you may see it in a video but not 
any time. Not, I didn't buy any. And I didn't buy any shrimp, but I did look at them because I'm thinking, mm, I need to find some recipe. But grilled? All right. Um, and you want me to do campfire brownies? I'll do that in a dinner called Hot Mess Skillet. Um, kibasha sausage and vegetables. All right. I will put those on my list and I will do that. So now let's get to the to the knives. All right. So I have them all out. So I'm gonna start with this one. This one is a hunting knife. This is stainless steel blade and wood handle with a leather sheath. So there's the sheath. And look at this. I love the handle. Isn't that pretty? I like. I like. Be careful. Don't cut myself. And the next one is a timber. Timber. A timber. Rattler. It's a TR-57. I like this sheet. Look how pretty that is. Wow. That's pretty. Leather. Boy, that smells good. Oh, big handle. Wow, look how pretty that is. We saw some of these, like this handle in Quartzsite this year. We went through some of the tents that I hadn't been to before. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I like, I like it. I love that sheet too. This is another timber. Whoop. Timber Rattler TR58. Is it another one of those leather? Oh, wow, how pretty is that? I love the sheets. <laughs> I have to smell it, that leather. Oh, look, that's not. like somebody driving it. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. That feels good. That feels good in your hand. Feel good on your hip too, wouldn't it? in front of the camera. These are so pretty. So cool. It's fun. It's, it's like Christmas. Christmas in June. It's better than Christmas. Because it's all knives. That's the cool thing. All right, let's look at this one. This is Bill Dance Outdoor Deer Hunting Combo. I don't know. I hadn't decided if I want to open this one yet or not. I like the how thin that is, or not thin, but. Not wide like this one. Smaller, I guess. That's cool. Very cool. Oh, and it has a sharpening stone in the sheath. Cool. Alright, check this one out. Look at this picture. Well, we're going to look at the real thing, but look at that. That is unique. 
wow. Wow, oh wow. Look at that. This one you can hang. It's an ornament or a decoration. But it also has a belt clip. This could really scare somebody. <laughs> it's like it looks like a real gun and do I say that word on YouTube? Look at that. Wow. That is pretty. Makes me want to cut brisket or something with it. <laughs> wow. That is something. Very, very pretty. That's, that's fancy. Oh, let me show you the number in case anybody is interested in it. Putting them back in the big box, so. Nah, let's look at this. This is a big box. This is a three piece liner lock uh, knife set. So it's three uh, knives, and each knife has a thumb stud and a clip. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> it's in a case. Look at that. That is cool. Aren't they all? Wow. Isn't that neat? That feels good. We were talking, uh, Felicia, in the email that, um, you know, knives are personal. Oh, I didn't like that. And they really are. Um, until you hold one, you don't know if it's, uh, you know, your, your thing or not. Yeah, see, I like that blade. It feels good in my hand. Very cool. And it has its own case. Isn't that cool? I just... No, I say that too much. Isn't that cool? I need a new word. <laughs> I need... Oops. Sometimes I go back and listen to my videos and I'm like, you need to, you know, widen your vocabulary. And quit just saying it's cool. Alright. This one is a three-blade locked back knife. I like the case. It's like a multi-tool case. Oh, cool. Oh, I like that. Three blades. I like that blade. It feels good. Yeah, I like that one. Oh. Here's the release on the side. And a saw. Yep. This is a keeper for sure. My new hobby. Um, making spoons or woodworking or whatever. I've made two spoons so far. Um, one's finished. And the other one's almost finished. And I haven't showed the second one on a video yet. But uh, this will come in handy to cut down the parts that you don't need on the spoon very cool i love that and then the gut hook serrated yeah i like this knife this one's this one's a this one's going with me <laughs> well, i guess they're all going with me but um, this one's staying i like that one And this one is a Smith & Wesson. It's a SWBGC. If anyone's interested in this one. Oh, that's pretty. 
So I love that. That is like that is wood. And I why can't I ever remember what these are called? I called it a handle. It's not a hand well it is a handle, but oh yeah. Another keeper. Isn't that pretty? Scales. Scales. I just thought of it. They call the handle piece scales. And um I love the scales on this one. Oh, and you can move the, um, I guess you can, I'm probably on a lot of them, move the clip to the other side, right there. Love this knife. Yep. That one's a keeper. I used to not like big knives, but when I got this Kershaw, I moved up. Um, I'll talk about, I don't know why, but, um, why I do, but I used to have small pocket knives, and they just kind of gotten big, bigger over the time, over, over time. All right, last one. This is a MTEC MT376. MTEC376. Okay, <laughs> slightly different cam camera angle. My other camera, the story quit recording the store just full so this is the last knife so I'm gonna end it with this camera um, this is the M tech like how pretty I like that it too is a pocket knife pocket clip serrated Isn't that pretty I like the black very nice I like that one too Very, very cool. Wow, how do you pick a favorite? <laughs> That's difficult. I wanted to keep an open mind through the whole thing. Um, so I'm gonna actually go back and open them all up again. And I'm not, not gonna do that on camera, but for sure, this one, for sure, because the saw, I need a saw. I will have a saw, but. this one and well <laughs> it can't I can't just I can't decide anyway I'm gonna sit with them a while that will help me um, determine which ones I'm gonna keep I am gonna pass um, one or two along Felicia I want to thank you so much for this this was such a kind such a kind-hearted gift um, that you obviously know that I like knives and um, packaged this up and selected which knives you wanted to send and um, it was just a, it was so fun to, <laughs> to open them up and and to see what's in here and I can't thank you enough um, I love I love them all but I think too, it will be fun to share with others. So I am gonna do that. Um, it will be either in a uh, video giveaway or I may do it at Lollapalooza. And some things falling. We'll see. But um, I am gonna go back through all these, hold them again. I'm gonna sit with them for a few days and you know decide exactly which ones are are um, keepers you know and which ones that um, I would like to share with other someone else uh, thank you so much again for your kindness so I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna continue to enjoy my day with all my knives